Hi guys, Kim here, design team member with Swirly Do's Kit Club. What I'm doing for you today is a tutorial on this cigar box. I've pre-prepped it with some gesso and some vintage white uh, paint all around the edges, but we're going to cover it using uh, stuff from the March kit, the Tales of You and Me paper from Prima and a lot of Prima products. Um, we've got the ephemera, some chipboard, and some bling. So I've pre-cut my paper already. And so I'm just going to go ahead and adhere the paper. And uh, then we're going to decorate it. I'm going to make sure I distress all my edges. And I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges as well with uh, some Prima chalk ink. Once all the edges are distressed, I'm using a dark bark by Prima, one of the chalk edges. It's one of my favorites for inking. So I'm going to get that all inked up. Make sure you got it all inked up. And I'm going to use some 3D matte gel by Prima as well to adhere this to the um, cigar box. I like the way that this holds and it doesn't dry right away so uh, if you need to move some stuff around. So I'm going to get a good coat on and I'm going to get that applied and then what I'm going to do is go over a brayer that helps spread out the gel some in case you miss some edges and so I'm just going to brayer over it it'll also help get out some of the air bubbles so I'm just going to make sure that that's adhered really well I got a couple of edges that it didn't miss so I'm just going to go ahead and lift those up add a little bit of uh, gel I'm sorry, that's matte gel I'm using, not gloss as well. I'm going to go ahead and get that down and get those edges brayered. Because I want to make sure that everything is all stuck down. You don't want your corners lifting up. Yeah. Now once that's all down, um, I'm going to go ahead and do all four sides as well. And I like to leave a little bit of an edge out. So again, my papers are pre-cut and I'm just distressing those, all the edges, and again, I'm using the Dark Bark uh, Chalk Ink by Prima and that 3D Matte Gel. It adheres really nicely. And again, brayer everything down and move some stuff around here. But get it all laid down and make sure it's all stuck. And it doesn't take a long, long time for this stuff to dry, but it does give you a little time to make some adjustments if need be. So now we're doing the back and you want to make sure that your box opens. Um, so you need to find out where your crease is when you're putting this paper down. So I'm going to put this paper down and then I'm going to open my box just to make sure. And once I opened it, I saw I had a little bit of liftage with the paper, so I'm going to go ahead and brayer that back down. I'm not going to open it again until this is dry, just to make sure that the paper doesn't lift again. So I want that nice and flat. All right, now the box is completely covered. Here comes the fun stuff. Now it's time for us to go ahead and decorate it. Like I said, I pulled out some of the embellishments from the March kit. I've got some flowers, some bling, some chipboard pieces. I pulled a few pieces from my stash and a few pieces from some older kits too, like the butterflies and hearts that we got in the past kit. I'm going to start off by adding a little doily down to the bottom and I'm going to use that matte gel again to adhere stuff. So I'm going to put that down just in the center because I do want the edges up. And I'm going to go ahead and ink it with some dark bark just to take off some of this dark whiteness. I probably should have done that before I uh, put the matte gel on, but that's okay. So I'm going to adhere that down. And I'm just going to go ahead and randomly add the rest of my flowers and other pieces. I'm going to add some foam tape to a few pieces of the flowers because I want some added dimension. And there's that cute little chipboard piece. Um, even though it's sticky on the back, I added some more matte gel just to make sure that it sticks. And I'm adding some foam tape to some of the other chipboard pieces as well. So we're just rearranging that. That's a cute little resin angel from my stash. And a few little chipboard leaves. These are also from my stash. And I'm just going to leave those raw because I like the uh, contrast and colors on there. And that uh, metal butterfly we got in the past kit too. 
I'm going to be using this for one of our challenges on the forum, so please stop by our forums and check out all the challenges. This one is about uh, spring cleaning and recycling, so I'm recycling a cigar box. And so now I've got all my embellishments down, but it needs a little bling, so I'm going to use some champagne colored uh, glitter glass. And I'm just going to take a smaller brush and put down some of that matte gel. I like using that because it dries clear. And then I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle on some of that uh, champagne colored glitter glass in just a few places, just randomly. going to brush that on and then take the brush and spread it out a little bit. Gives it a nice little shimmer. So now that we're done with that, I'm also going to add some bling around the edges. It still looks a little plain to me. And we got this uh, gold bling self-adhesive strip in, again, the March kit. And I had that left over. So I'm just going to add some bling around the top. I'm just going to cut some strips and add it around the top. <clears throat> Um, I like that these are self-adhesive um, and they stick really well so I didn't add any extra glue to it. So just cut that and measure it. Cut that piece off and go ahead and get that all stuck down. I'm going to do all four sides. Got a little piece of uh, the backing stuck there. We got it off. Now the two sides, the one side will be straight. Um, on my other side, you'll see when I go to measure, I had a little piece of chipboard uh, interfering a little bit. So what I did was I just kind of cut that piece into two pieces and kind of tucked it here and there. Um, and so it fit perfectly once I did that. Got a little piece tucked in there. All right, and so now it's blinged up. I love the way that the bling looks on the, t on the lid of that. So next we're just gonna add some um, lace around the sides of it. I grabbed some cream lace from my uh, stash. And I'm going to use, again, that 3D matte gel to go ahead and adhere the lace. And I'm just going to do it just around the top of the sides of the box. Just to give it uh, some more dimension and some more of that little vintage look. I love this paper and this lace just goes perfectly with it uh, to give it that vintage look. And so I just want to make sure that that's even all the way around. And then in the back, it's also going to cover where I'm going to get that crease for when my box opens, but it's not going to interfere with the box opening. And so now I've got another one of the uh, chipboard pieces from the Tales of You and Me collection, and I'm just going to add that to the front for a little bit of decoration. And again, it's self-adhesive, but I like to add just a little bit more so it doesn't fall off. So we got that stuck right there in the center. and make sure everything's straight and there's my box there but I like it but I think you could use just a few more flowers on the top of it so I think we're gonna dig back into the stash and maybe uh, see what we can come up with but as you can see it's got some nice bling to it um, you can see the little shimmer from the glitter glass but yeah, I think the top of it may need a little something else.